Great, so we're going to just walk you through the steps of adding to uh, Google Map uh, so that you can do that for uh, any class that you might need to. When you go to Google Maps, you'll have the option for My Places if you're logged in. And you'll notice here that I'm actually logged in with my ASIJ user ID. So you want to make sure you're on that because that's what people will be sharing with you for class uh, collaboration on a map. Here I have a few maps that are part of My Places and I'm going to click on the demo and now I have the option to edit. Um, one of the things that you're probably going to want to do is over here take the labels off so that you're working with the map in a way that you're not confined by um, political boundaries or labels at this time. Then in order to add a point, you click Edit and you get these controls here. Ta-da! And this is where we get to have some fun. In order to put down a mark, you simply add a place mark. You can put that wherever you need to. We were talking about Louisiana, the mouth of the Mississippi here, roughly. Then you can add a title. Hello, typing. Um, add a description, anything you need to. You'll notice here that you have plain text, rich text, and editing HTML. The best part comes with the rich text is that now you could ostensibly add a picture. So let's say I bring up a new tab and I want to find an image um, of the Mississippi Delta and an image. Uh, ooh, these are kind of fun. Something that looks pretty good. Um, we're just grabbing this from an educational site. Educational, usually the .edu means it's a little more reliable image. Um, this is for demo purposes. If you're using it for a project, you want something that's either Creative Commons or under fair use that you can properly uh, attribute for your bibliography. So please remember that. So here's a couple of images. Let's just grab this one. Um, if you control click on the image, you can copy the link location. So that's going to be your best bet. After you do that, go back to your map. And if you click then on the little add an image part right here, you will have the option for entering a URL for that image. And you'll notice that it ends in a .jpg. If I just grab the URL, it's an HTML coding. You actually want the image file, so that's the .jpg. OK. And you'll see that the image has appeared in your placemark. The other thing we can do while we're here is change the placemark. Maybe I want a boat because it has to do with the delta. Or maybe I want somebody swimming or anything you want, whatever. Um, and once you're done and that's all the information you need, maybe you need a link, maybe you need a, a quote from something, you can add additional text, uh, do all the linking that you might need to do, add information, and then click OK. And you'll see that now we have this point. Um, the other thing you might need to do is draw a line or draw a shape. Um, if you're drawing a line and you needed to show the path of someone uh, who traversed a bit of the river, you could click and then click again and click again and you could follow the river as it makes its way wherever it goes. I'm sort of making this up, but you get the idea. When you want to end the line, you're like, why won't it end? You want to go back to that last point you made and click again. And now, oops, click the last point. Should let us click the last point. There we go. With a little hand and it'll let you do that. Once you get your line drawn and you've finished it, then you can add um, your title for this and any description you might need. Maybe if it's a particular historical figure, you can put a picture of the person or uh, anything else that you might need from that time period, much like you did the other one. You can also change the line color. Blue doesn't always show up all that well. Um, maybe the things that I found is yellow usually shows up pretty well. The lighter colors work pretty well. Depends on what the topography is or if you're going over water. Um, pick something that you can actually see. You can also change the line width if you need to, and it'll make it a little bigger. And you can change the opacity and make it a little denser. So now it's really showing up. It's big, it's bright, um, even from there. So 
there's that. Uh, and if you want to outline a particular area, maybe you're talking about um, a particular part of a country where something happened or people lived or per particular demographic, there we go. And similar things, add a title, add a picture, add some additional information. Um, the opacity for an area, generally a little bit uh, more transparent is is good. I mean, you do want to see it, but you might want to see the topography underneath. It might inform what you're trying to say uh, or the information that you're doing. So we can do that. Click OK, and there's an area. So there are the three key things that you can do with uh, Google Maps and adding information. You'll see that the points are listed over here. And this would be a shared collaborative map, so you'd want to be careful not to mess up anybody else's points accidentally. One more thing. Um, don't forget that when you're done, you do need to save your changes and then click Done. And then you'll see that you have the map on the left-hand side all set over here. So make sure that you do, again, Save and then Done. Before you leave the map, you wouldn't want to do all this work and then have it all disappear. So you should be all set. Enjoy!